Well, hello, and here I am with another Throwback Thursday review, and the rotation leads us to a Star Wars review, and today which is on the uh, Jedi Interceptor with Booster Ring set from 2007. So on the front of the booklet, see Lego logo, Star Wars logo, and also that 30th anniversary border there, and then see the set in, in action above uh, Mustafar and Set number 7661. And on the back, add for most of the rest of the 2007 line. And then add for win on the online survey and Lego Club. And add for the first battle packs, or well, epic poster of the first battle packs that there are. Yeah then all the features of it, and the pieces that come with the set, and the last step. So, first of all, for the minifigs, is Obi-Wan Kenobi. Oh, which quite similar to, or kind of the same as from most of the 2005 ones. Like, well, face print also kind of present, and the hairpiece, a little overused, but still good. But no back torso print nor double side face, since of course it's an older figure. And of course, also what I think is exclusive to this one is a comp link to it. Also, kind of like with Anakin in the one from 2005. Also good. And also included is Kit Fisto, who of which stayed exclusive to this, at least until the ARC 170 in 2010. So, one of the only times to ever get this character. But besides that, see, this is about time when they started using the like odd grayish lightsabers rather than. Chrome silver and then regular silver, but the headpiece of which is, does attach normally and it's made of soft rubber and kind of attaches like most other odd heads. And no back torso print, and and also you got some good uh, front torso print. But the detailing for the headpiece of which quite nicely, quite good. Pick, although this is one of the only ways to ever get him in, in LEGO history. Well, I hope that in the future, for the revival of Clone Wars and all, that they do remake this one, or bring this one around again. I'm sure they could. But so first for the builds, which is the Jedi Interceptor, and in this is the only time of ever having this in like blue, you know. and of course did get uh, twice in yellow, once in green, and one and twice in red. So, so one of the only times of ever having this blue one. But anyway, so as for the, the shaping of which. Just about the same as the 2005 version, but with a few slight modifications, like have the clips with bars on them rather than the fire hose pieces. Also, same thing with the wing flaps, of course, but also different astromech droid head. Whereas on that one, it was regular R2-D2s. But, but this one's a witch, uh, I can't remember the name of the droid of which. But of course, this one is exclusive to this set. But also, same Republic symbol. And you can like open this up and do have a couple of sticker control panels there. And single leaf or on there. 
and of course enough space to get your Obi Wan if you need to be gone too. And but overall, and what else? Also, do have the wheel things with a stud on it as its engines, of course. So as for a little comparison, which, uh, compared to this one that was in the Jedi Interceptor and Vulture Droid set from 2005, as well. So as you can see, a very slight bit of different. See, it's kind of the same stuff, like, but of course, different colors, of course. But even though they eventually changed it up in 2012. Designs of which all the same. Well, except for the bottom area. Since, of course, it, on this one it's more thin and has the, like, uh, technic pin pieces, but, but just for good reason. And, of course, this one of which doesn't need that. And also, as you can see, the blasters in front, also quite different. And also, the cockpit interior is quite different. So, at least they did a little bit of difference in that two-year gap. And I think that is it with the Interceptor. And now onto the booster ring itself. Of which a pretty cool design. Quite cool design. Although a little similar to the recent 2017 version of it. But more on that later. But so you have a whole ton of the like three-way bent uh, Technic parts to it. And get a whole ton of these like top part canopy pieces and a lot of these uh, Technic things but also kind of like that one of which these like, movable flaps but also unlike that version is also you can and you wonder what these like cone pieces are for? Is that it, that they have rods sticking out, tapping, and it shoots out. So this of which was the original idea for flick fire missiles, but until they made some different pieces to that. And what these uh, technic uh, like beams are for is for the interceptor to slide onto it, and on the bottom part of which do you have some translucent studs there probably to let you know that it's the bottom part and also from the back area have some of the uh, trans blue uh, dish pieces as the uh, light energy of it you know how to slide it onto it is full the landing gear up of course and then get the, and also, oh whoops, the little pins right there which slide into there. Put it on, and then, like so. And then there it is, all set and ready. And so for a little comparison is, with this 2017 Jedi uh, Starfighter with hyperdrive ring, so builds of which quite similar, but at least it of which is eerily different, like a lot of these large engines rather than the two big large engines. And also do have are standing on long tile or long plates, of course, but also uses a lot of the blue uh, Technic pins to it rather than the like uh, part of pieces, of course. But also, doesn't have a handle to uh, hang on to, which the 2017 version does. But also, of course, with this one, with 
can come out upwards. And like so. But at least it's a witch, also nice and sturdy to hold on to and swoosh around, of course. And so let's, let's see. Uh, what else is there to say? Uh, not much, but but also you do get a good amount of these, like four pin pieces. Good, great for mocks, you know. Good. So now on to the, the final verdict. So overall, I think this is which a pretty cool set for the time of 2007. Like first time of having this kind of a booster ring set, which I didn't get to see until again until 2017. But also only time of having Jedi Interceptor, but in blue, which I ins which I hope they do remake eventually. And hopefully make different random colors of it for the length of time. Because, you know, always good to have some variety in your collection, of course. And if you still have this. And also, this the only time of. One of the only times of having Kit Fisto, of course. And hopefully, they. If they're watching this video, they put him in a set again. And for the sake of Clone Wars returning and all. And for those, and anyways, if you still have this set from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of it. And for those of you who haven't and still want to get this, when I say go ahead and get it, like eBay Bricklink, whatever. And that's about it with this video, and thanks for watching.